Oh no, Chris is a real leader, right? Yeah. 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 Are they really yeah. are they really leading? Yes. It's good. Just gotta get that. Just gotta get out there more. Oh, well, well, how they how can they lead when you don't know them when we don't know about them? Well, it feels good. I like the equipment. I know, but I, I really haven't. Have, where where are, where's their equipment? Where can you train them? I got some in, I got some in Vegas. Um, Milos, have you tried it? Yeah, the Chinese guy had in his gym. I was there for two and a half months training, and he had a full gym equipped. Uh, I mean, this is this is a newer newer version of stuff now. Like like I tried a few years ago, and it was a little different. It wasn't. He wasn't, wasn't that good. Right, it wasn't right. Is that but now, is that what um, um, Hida has in his gym? No, no. He has a uh, new tech. Oh, okay. So that's new tech. And some uh, Evelgar or something uh, Japanese line. I thought you wasn't allowed in there no more. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> never coming. I'm just, Listen, when somebody kicks you out, this is done. Huh? You never it's come done. back. Right? <laughs> you had no reason to kick me out. So uh, okay. Right. Well. Right. Well, talking about getting kicked out, <laughs> since you brought it up. Hey, listen, I, it, it fits perfect. It, it goes right in. Now, nah, listen, I, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, uh, trash talk anybody. I just want to, you know, it's news. We we want to. We a lot of fans. Listen, this is for the fans that's listening. Last week when we filmed the podcast, we filmed the podcast on Tuesdays and we aired it on Sundays. So, because a lot of people, I see in the comments and people saying that, oh, Mulos must have some great uh, 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 control of except for to keeping it in. I said, listen, we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know. And I think Milos didn't even know at the podcast that uh, this was happening. I think that's something that he found out after, right after. So that's why we didn't talk about this last week, and we, we actually talked like everything was still back to normal. You know, the only thing that we Chris brought up last week was that he mentioned in the video that he might not be doing um, the UK because he's going to the hospital and he's going to let the, um, the doctor determine if he's going to compete or not, only to, only to find out after, uh, on, and actually on the... Farewell message that Milo sent with the video of, of Samson and, you know, basically wished him all the best, which I know he is. He wished him all the best. And then uh, Fuat, I remember I seen a comment of Fuat and he mentioned it a couple of times. He said he was not in the hospital, he's not sick, and he's not retiring. Something similar to that. I'm, I'm not I'm 100%, don't quote me 100%, but that's what it meant. So he was not in the hospital. Milo, have you talked to him since, since, since the hmm. Arnold in Columbus? At Actually, all? I, never, I never talked to him ever since Saturday. Uh, yeah, ever since Saturday, he, he never called me. Uh, I did, when I uh, saw that message, I texted him right away and he responded that he's okay. And then shortly after, I got another text message explaining that yeah, he thanked me for everything that we did so far, but uh, he's ready to uh, start something new and try something new. So that's the extent of it. Uh, of course, you, get, uh, you can imagine when you have a... Uh, here is Abdullah. Hey, Abdullah. Turn the light on. Yeah, Abdullah, turn on the light. Happy Ramadan. Turn your phone sideways so we can see you. I know you're small, and that's why you would fit in that frame, but you look bigger in a sideways <laughs> frame. Can you hear us, Abdullah? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Yeah, I guess not. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, phone is connected. Hey. Okay. Hey, how are you? How's everyone? Uh, Abdullah, okay. are, are you on the... Yes, yes, perfect, perfect. One minute. One minute. Mm. Oh, you, you, you're wearing your sestasha, huh? Sestasha. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, anybody, hey, anybody see my video wishing the Muslim world a happy uh, Ramadan in Arabic? Yes. Did you say Arabic? Yes, I said it in Arabic. Yeah. Can I say it again? Yeah. No, don't ask me. Don't, don't, don't ask me. Listen, say it again. I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying I understand Arabic. I'm not like Chris who said, yeah, I speak the language when I don't. 
I speak Spanish. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anytime, you, I, anytime you go like this to me, you do it. I, sp I probably speak. I had nothing to do with it. Oh, no. <laughs> I, uh, what I tried, how, how, what, everyone, how was that, Milos Ab and uh, Chris? Abdullah, go into the picture. Put your phone up a little bit so we can see your head. Yeah. I know you want to show off your body, but we want to see your face, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Abdullah, you look like you're not doing this too often. Okay, this is good. You this don't is, have yeah, yeah. You, you sit a little Zik, bit. Zik. You, you sit a little bit high, but that's, that's fine. Have some light? Take the picture. Like this? Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect. Put a couple of books under the phone. So, Ab Abdullah, first, oh, one minute, one minute. first, one minute, one minute. hold on. First, welcome. I know it's it's late over there, but it's Ramadan, so you guys are up late. To uh, yeah, I know, you but know. <laughs> but uh, just just to continue what we were talked about, I just we, we we were just I want to hit on this subject real quick where we talked about Milos. Milos was just explaining to me um, that he has not spoken to Samson basically since. Um, the Arnold in Columbus. So, Milos, you said something about, you sent him a message, though. Yeah, I did send a message, uh, of course, to, to find out about his health because uh, that was quite disturbing, right? Uh, his body is failing. Uh, he has to go to, to the hospital and stuff like that. So, instantly, I get, like, so many messages, you know, that, people asking huh? me what I'm doing, all that stuff. That he was in a hospital. Who, yeah. No, he said he's going to the hospital. He's going yeah, to. But, but anyway, yeah, he's completely okay. I mean, look, that's the guy uh, that that uh, had high aspirations to win Arnold Classic. He won three out of four shows in 2023, right? And uh, we all talk about uh, how, you know, he represents hashtag bodybuilding. Everything is there. Everything is there. And we believe that, yeah, he can go into the fight and beat great Hadi. Of course, we talked yes, the last time Hadi came in the most incredible condition, a streamlined, more V-tapered and create illusion of the size. And uh, him losing to Hadi is nothing to be ashamed of, for the love of God, right? Because it's such a great contender. But he probably took it more personally and uh, that uh, he believed he could have won and and as we didn't deliver exactly the, the best condition once again, you know, maybe, uh, you know, he hears the noise and experts telling him maybe it's a time for him to leave me. And uh, look, um, you know how he was in uh, like 2019, uh, Chris Asida just called me today, like check out the Vancouver stage posing uh, Samson next to Hadi and see how much he evolved. And you all know that uh, Samson is the uh, most improved athlete in the last two and a half years. And really... I, th I think I think three years is the uh, best uh, improving bodybuilder. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, that's where, where it's at. And, and you know how it is when you're competitive and you want more, you get your disappointment. So I, I think that was emotional and physical response. And he just... Uh, you know, he was flying back to England, and God knows how it is. But as we all know, he's right back on track. He's doing the Arnold Classic. He has uh, aspirations to to beat Hardy, you know, and he has that potential. Yeah, but listen, if, if if you make a video, and he sounded like he was literally like, I don't know, he almost looked like he was crying yeah. in the video. I looked at that video very closely, and he's telling his fans and all of us that his body is failing, He's going to the hospital. How can you go from my body's failing, I need to go to a hospital and let the doctor determine if I'm doing the show or not, to not even going to the hospital and being okay? Because this generation is in their feelings first and it's not the real reality of the situation. Hmm. You get in your feelings, you're hurt, you didn't win. I mean, let's face it, I mean, Milos is a damn good fucking coach and right. he puts his heart and his fucking life invested in someone else's life. He already had his own journey. Now he's on other people's journey. Mm -hmm. And then at the at the at the end of the day, uh the end of the day, light, come. No, wait, wait, wait. At the end of the day, everybody knows the date of the show. The competitor knows the date of the show. It is your responsibility to get your ass in shape. He can tell you what to do. 
He can guide you. This is what I want you to do and what you want you to look like. At the end of the day, you got to work your ass off. Did did Hadi look like he worked his ass off? Mm-hmm. Hadi looked like he worked his ass off. And uh, how are you going to blame somebody else when this guy brought you so much cachet, so much uh, abundance, of, abundance of everything? Anything anyone can do, you improve so much. How do you not continue with that guy? Okay, so, but I, I don't know. I, I haven't heard Samson blaming. Uh, well, I'm not saying blaming, but, but I mean, you took but I, but I see what you're saying, and I, and I like the Chris Comier of today, man. Today, you, you speak up, man. I like that. Because here's the thing. Thank you. Here's the it's thing. True, yeah, I know it's, you're Thank right. You, you're right. Here's, <laughs> here's one thing that. that <laughs> Bob, okay. Abdullah, we can hear you. Um, Here's one thing that bothered me a little bit. We're all coaches. I'm not no more because I'm tired. I've been tired of this shit. You know, but we all we all been in situations where you say, you know, what the fuck am I doing here? Here's here's what I don't understand for real. Because I know how hard uh, how how invested Milos is with his athletes. Not only Samson, all of his athletes. You know what I'm saying? So I know how many hours. Or when he doesn't sleep all night because the show is somewhere else in the world. I know for a fact because I talked to Milos. I talk, I, we almost on the phone watching the live stream together. And when Samson came out, because I never, I don't know, maybe, some, maybe that's just something that I would do. But I would maybe expect at least a, a thank you from, from, from Samson to Milos in public. Like, listen, Milos got me where I'm at. I mean, I, I quit my job. I fucking <laughs> buy in McLaren's. I can do this and I can do that. I can live a life now that I never thought I can. So whose fault, or not whose fault, who helps you, though, to get there somewhat? Now, you know, he makes a video and he thanks his wife for make, peeking him in Romania and, and Prague. Never once mentioned Milos. So what does that mean? Is his wife? Is his wife his don't coach? Of, it don't mean much of nothing because. I'm, but I'm, easy, I'm trying to understand the message that we get in here. He said, "Here's my new coach, and she's she's the one that peaked me for Prague and Romania, where supposedly we all say that was his best version." My son could have peaked someone Hold after on. you did it. You know? I got you, Dennis. 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 <laughs> I, uh, I remember. I remember. I remember Samson before, and I know that the Samson wife is a great coach. He do with Samson before from beginning, you know, and uh, I know him. Is uh, he have a good good uh, relationship with Samson? Okay, what do you mean a great coach? You see, she's training athletes for how many years? I have yeah, you have athletes. Yeah, you have you have you have athlete from British. You have uh, I think uh, Brockhart. I I think you have uh, a gold medal. I think he's he's good good coach from Samson from from beginning from day one. Mm-hmm. And uh, after this oh. one, I I, I prepare Samson uh, from uh, two show when it's something growing, then uh, Samson break, go to uh, England, then he won't come to Kuwait, but I have have team with me, you know, and uh, I meet with, with the, the team, you know, the, the head uh, of the team, and I told him, I want Samson to uh, come in Kuwait. He said, no, now enough. I have Rolly, I have Brandon, and I have, we have, uh, I think, Akim William or something, then I want him, you know, but uh, after this, Samson make mad, then he go with the, the coach when he did, then I saw him after we go with Milos. Okay. But I know the wife is great wife, great coach, and uh, always with Thompson. That that may very well be, and I believe it. I'm not saying this is not true. What I'm saying is, what was Milos's role? If his wife was peeking him, what Milos? I, I know this is a stupid question, but I have to ask because I think the fans want to know. What was yeah. your What was your role as his coach when he mentions that his wife peeked him? Well, listen. Of course, that's a disturbing message, and I have to listen. And then I get to, again messages like, "Hey, man, why are you taking credit of something you didn't do?" And uh, you know, <laughs> she, yeah, she picked him, and you know, I said, like, "Let's put this in perspective." Um, yes, uh, along the way, when I met Samson, he contacted me after John Meadows died, and uh, there was like seven weeks before the Arnold UK 2021. He basically sent me the message, a hey, uh, John sp- uh, spoke very highly of you. And he told me, if you ever going to go with any other coach who wants you to go with Milos. So when he contacted me seven weeks out, can you help me? I said, of course, in the memory of John. John is a great friend of mine. Yeah, I'm going to do it. 
and uh, uh, needless to say, uh, he plays second to Nathan Diasha, very close, one point uh, difference. And then, as with every athlete that I have, I said, look, there are all these other shows. Next week, he go to Italy, and uh, following week to Egypt, following week to Prague, and then Romania. So five shows back to back to back. Uh, needless to say, he plays top three in all of them. You know, he could have won possibly, you know, two or three of them easily, <laughs> uh, you know, more. But doesn't matter. He started making improvements. Uh, everything was great. And, uh, of course, Marlena, his wife, was not his coach. It was his wife. If she was coaching him before, uh, which I found out that that, that was the, the case, uh, of course, she gave it to, uh, I guess, Abdullah. I didn't know that you coached him, too. Uh, he went to John Meadows, and then I took the uh, role of a coach, and I was coach all the way through. As you mentioned, Dennis, uh, Romania and Prague, we were uh, live streaming. I had to stay up all night because mm -hmm. it's an hour difference. Uh, and I just mentioned 2021, five shows. What do you do be between the shows? You finish the show, you go low carb days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you carb up or just bring up the carbs and then manipulate the water five times in a row. So they had a uh, blueprint of everything. Then we go 2022. The goal was to, to possibly be top 10 at Olympia. He placed top six, exceed his expectations, growing, improving, becoming one of the best. Then we go to 2023, as I said, he won three out of four shows that he entered, mm -hmm. right, together with me. So for me to first hear that uh, he ended up in a hospital and uh, people would put two and two together and say, like, oh, yeah, you put him in the hospital. Like, uh, guys, no bodybuilder on that stage doesn't have a, some level of dehydration. It's expected for us to be dry dry more than normal, you know, therefore somewhat dehydrated. There was never a case in any of the shows, 13 shows that I worked with uh, Samson, that he was cramping, that he was uh, feeling dehydrated and, you know, in potential yeah. danger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This we all had a, Yeah, of course. We all had a instances of some athletes going a little bit too far, you know, uh, but needless to say, there was there was none of that. I, I think there was a lot of emotional uh, content behind these uh, words. But then when he uh, pointed out that uh, Marlena uh, picked him for these two shows, which we were at this point a team, that Samson's wife and a cook and all goes through discussion between three of us, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. It makes me look super bad and questionable, right? That, uh, oh, so I pick you for the Olympia, then she pick you for this too, then I, I pick you again for this one, how that works. I never had a chance to discuss this with him, and uh, yeah. thank God this is not going to be run before the UK. So after the UK, probably he's going to be you know, uh, in a different set of mind that uh, we could possibly talk. Yeah. And say, what was that all about? Question for Abdullah. Question. Mm -hmm. I wonder why I was even saying. Hold, hold on, Chris. Hold on. <laughs> Question for you: Does it work to have two coaches? No. Chris. No. It's different if one coach is a nutritionist and, and everything else, and one trains you. That's different. Well, I mean, but to have two, two coaches, two coaches, even if it's two great coaches, no. there will there will be a time where one says this we should do this, and one thinks this is not a good idea. Now, what you gonna do? You confuse the athlete. Is that what's happening? Uh, too much first. Yeah. Too much first. So so what happened? So what do you think happened? I don't understand. Why would um I mean uh, listen, listen, Dennis, Dennis. First of all, I, I would say congratulations from Milos. He did a great job with uh, with Samson. I'm not jealous. I saw everything. Uh he do with him something nobody do with him before. He have been since three years after Brandon Kelly, when you Brandon gets from zero to hero from first. After Brandon, best. Bodybuilder on the planet now is Samson Dawuda. I'm talking about physique. He can beat Hadi, yes. Uh, I remind Brandon with Hadi 2019. Hadi coming condition. Brandon coming more round and more uh, cartoonish. And uh, too much people think uh, Hadi can beat Brandon. 
in uh, 2019. But Brandon, he looked like cartoonish, a different, different area with Hadi. I know Hadi have quads. Uh, I know he have deep uh, abs, separation, but he's not enough beat Brandon. Uh, too much talking about Samson. Uh, Hadi is hard, hard, hard to beat. No, Samson, he can beat him. But I think, in my mind, over uh, uh, loaded from uh, competition, uh, three years not stop. Maybe uh, he make him uh, your body tired. Maybe your body he doesn't uh, uh, respond. You know, you know, Dennis. You know, before you your champ. You know, when you when you ten years competition like uh, one hundred competition different. When you two years your competition like thirteen thirteen competition is different. Yeah, you know, yeah. but he's not make change like uh, uh, first of all. You know, maybe that's what he maybe that's what he tried to say. Maybe he meant to, to explain to us that. He just did to so many shows. His body's not responding like it, yeah, like, I, like he expected to. And maybe he just expressed himself the wrong way by saying his body is failing. Maybe he I didn't mean, mean to say. I it. didn't, didn't, Dennis. I didn't. I didn't. Honestly, I didn't see Milos wrong. I was absolutely wrong. But I think uh, didn't, uh, Milos is uh, the rock. He's fighter. You know. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. Milos is fighter. Will never say for people. Uh, no, uh, you need to take a break. I know Milos. You love bodybuilder. Best guy in the bodybuilder he love is Milos, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know Milos, he wants to see something growing and win and win. But, you know, sometimes up, sometimes down, you know. This is not a problem. Yeah, I mean, it's different. If you're in your early 20s, it's okay to take time off. But I guess, you know, but I guess this, to me, it seems like that Samson is the one that wants to compete. It looks to me, and it, this is how I felt this whole, all these years, that he is the one that wants to get out on stage, that he feels strong enough. And, 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 he, and you know, and it, and it worked. It, I mean, he went from zero to hero yeah, also. Two, 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 two fighters, two fighters, Sancho yeah. and Milos. <laughs> yeah. I just would like to see, you know, and I think, I think this, is, this is something that an athlete, I, I would just like to see Samson to come out and, 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 you know, and clear the air for people not, especially for Milos, Don't let him sit here and, and have people thinking he was just claiming to help you or, or coaching you when, when you maybe didn't listen to what he said and, and you used your wife's uh, 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 um, info. I don't know. So maybe it's, it would be time for Samson because he likes to talk. He likes to do videos. So my, why not just come out and do a video and, ex, and explain the situation, how it really was, so the world knows and, and, and we can, you know, just come, we can end this whole I, thing. I think Samson is a good guy. I think maybe now yes. he's busy because he happened. I have show in the Ireland, UK. After Ireland, UK, I, 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 I think, but because I work with him, he's, he's a nice guy, he's yes. gentleman. I think now, now he get mad a little bit, you know, bodybuilder. But after Ireland, I know 100 birds, he called Milos and they talk together, you know? Yeah. Do you think but, he was but, upset? But, but yeah, this is, I, I, I get it. Yes, he's going to talk to him. Eventually, they're going to have to talk. But this would be something, I mean, he can make other videos, you know, and mention that his wife picked him, you know, but. I think he should have said something about Milos too, so the world would understand. Before all the other stuff. Yeah, but you know, I, I know Samson is a nice guy. I like Samson a lot, and I know he's he might not be in his right mind right now because of the emotions from not winning the Arnold, and 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 he's got the England ahead of him. So not, we don't expect anything from him now, but I, I hope in the future he he finds the time to to address this issue, not issue, but to address this thing and, and explains really. What what this whole co Dennis, corporation was with Milos and and and, you know, and his wife? But, but you know how you know how your emotions is running after you taken second. It was like everybody built up the show. The whole it was a lot of a lot of stake. It was a two man race. Yeah, or but whatever. you you lost against the, uh, the Mr. Olympia. You lost against someone you never beat before. So it's not like you were surprised that he beat you again. Hey. We know to we knew coming into the show that this is most likely what can happen. I took second six in a row, dog. I know. I know. And, and you still <laughs> and yeah, and so, someone can feel. <laughs> so you know how you know what it feels like. But on the on a side note, is he won the Arnold last year? Was it more like play, placing second to Hardy, or do you think it was more because he couldn't defend his title? I can't. Even, I can't put my finger on how I'm feeling myself. Yeah, I don't know about you. Uh, Uh, Now listen, yeah, he he was all zero to win the contest. Means, but Dennis, you're a great businessman, and, and you know the golden rule in business: don't mix business and emotions. Uh, right. I I'm not in in the coaching really as a business. I, I became emotionally involved. Uh, we are basically a family. I mean, uh, for three years, 
Malena and uh, Samson are my family, you know. Yeah. So you talk and you live it through and everything, ups and downs. It's not like there was many downs. It was just like, okay, he was expanding and improving dramatically to the point that people started wondering, like, what the hell is he doing? He was not burned out by no means. And I'm going to say that because a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, you know, too many competitions. Chris and I did 72 shows. We talked about this before. I don't think that was the case. Yeah, we, we did 13. Oh, yes. uh, one year. Oh, yeah, 13. So I, I'm not going to take it that he was, there was no signs of uh, Samson of being overtrained uh, or, uh, you know, burned out. It was just that, that one thing, right? You reach certain level uh, of being lean enough, but not really peeled. And you need to be peeled because it was recognized that, uh, okay, you just tighten up condition, tighten up, tighten up. And then you go against most conditioned guy in the history of IBB pretty much besides Andreas Munzer and and guy that lost, Olympian came with a vengeance. You know, so you could have expected that Tehari is going to bring the heat and peel condition. Uh, and that was it, one of those things, right? When you uh, do the updates and you see it yeah it's improved samson but oh that's not gonna be enough standing next to uh you know hadi because you expect that's it to be skinless and, and stuff like that right so th there was obviously when they step on the stage i still thought yeah you know maybe it's competitive and he could go either way because i would always be a biased coach now i'm no longer biased coaching i can look and I'm going to still say, I love Samson's physique way better. And if Samson does bring that little extra conditioning, including uh, four days from now, he has a legitimate chance of beating great Hadi. And I also said that, that Hadi, for me, you know, could have won every show that he ever entered. He's that good. Uh, he's not aesthetic like Brandon or a Samson or, a, you know, let's say Derek. But it has everything. Dennis, you point out how wide he is and how big he looks. He creates illusion yeah. of a size like, oh my God, I, I don't even know how. I saw a video. I, I saw a video with you when you was on. Uh, I don't know which podcast it was, where you guys basically uh, uh, mocked me because I said that they almost <laughs> the same size when you compare them. And I guess you guys look at the height. I Thank guess. God. I guess. Hadi, Hadi is not small. He's short, yes. And when Samson stands next to Hadi, Samson looks like very this. wide. Yeah, but when you look, when you compare their, their bodies, you compare these individual poses, show me that, that Samson is 50 pounds better. You can't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't show me anything. You can't show me that his legs you know, are so much you know, bigger. Dennis, what you you know what? What posing he look uh, like? He's small. When you do side chest, side triceps, yes. you see how he's smaller. Yeah, because when is, you see yeah. him front to back, is we talked about this last week, and Kylie was uh, she did an awesome job with adding the pictures. You see that real lat spread difference on Samson yeah. and Hardy? It looked like it was the yes. opposite way with with weight. So what I'm trying to say is, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying he's bigger than 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 Samson. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. Because he's shorter, his weight translates. It looks almost just in, even in individual body parts. Hardy's arms are the same size as Samson's arms. Not if you put a tape around it, but when you look at it, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes. So you guys can laugh about me yes. all you want, because I yes. don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, if you remember 2020 already when. Uh... Uh, Rami won for the first time. Mm -hmm. And you said it yourself, like, uh, Hadi would be his biggest challenge. Yes. For and uh, when we, I mean, Rami is as I wide as... And ball. Milos, you remember, I also said, Hadi doesn't look much smaller next to him in, exactly. in some That's poses. Yeah. So, so when uh, the front lat spread with the Rami being so wide... Yeah, nobody beats him there. Yeah. Blow him away. He didn't take much on Hardy. Yeah, you know. So but, yeah, but no, nobody beats the front last spread from Rami at that time because he just has that crazy white shoulders, that white legs. Front, that front last spread is ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
when he hits it so, the, when he when he hits it the right way. Okay, sometimes he hits poses differently, and then it doesn't look the same. But like, listen, I'm not saying he was bigger. I'm just saying you can't see 50 pound difference. You see maybe five pounds, maybe 10, and that's the height. The rest is all height. Yeah. So then you can what judges are looking, you know, for the remaining of a bodybuilding aesthetics, shape, balance, you know, all that stuff, thickness, width, V taper, you know, stuff. Samson has a lot of attributes that he could have taken. We talk about we talk about this every yeah. week, Milos. I know you, yeah. you you just sound like a broken record because you say yeah. this every week. We know yeah. how you feel about Samson and his shape. The world knows, and you still I know you still believe that Samson, when he nails it, is unbeatable. And I and I agree with yeah. you. I do think so. I think we all agree. If Samson nails his condition, he's unbeatable. It's do you, uh, Abdullah, do you agree? Chris, yes. you, you agree? Yeah, we nailed it. So I now, mean, huh? so that's about nailing so, it, right? So, so, you yeah. need striations in the quads. You need that stomach to where you can totally, like, just totally shrink, wrap that skin. But don't you, each. but Chris, don't you think that if he drops, let's say, I don't know, let's realistically say, what do you think him, how much? Well, he, yeah. Let's well, re yeah. realistically now, we're not talking well, about, because Milos always mentions the weight when he leaves England. He was 302 pounds the week before the show. That don't mean anything. What realistically do you think was his weight when he stepped on stage? If you realistically think what his weight was. 94. Nah. No? I don't think so. If he was three, if he was 302 when he left, come on. 10 pounds is nothing if you drop water. Yeah, but if you don't drop enough water, then you know that's that leaves the the more. But right? no, but, no. but Milos, uh, uh, honest, honest question now. Oh, this is no, this is a question for Abdullah and Chris. Mm. Do you think he just wasn't dry enough, or do you think he wasn't hard enough? Not on enough. What was it? Not on enough. Combination. Not on enough. So both. She's not enough. She's not hard enough and not dry enough. So he means he needs to lose weight, correct? What do you I think? think so. What do you think? How much more he should lose? I think uh, if you if you three 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 or two, I think it will be no. Uh, Abdullah, 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 he was three hundred and two one week before the show. I think two eighty, yeah. two eighty five. That's what I said. Exactly the same way, two eighty, eighty five, and I think he would be. <laughs> He was, listen, listen, Dennis. At last year in Arnold, if you coming same last year, he can make him yeah. terrible in the stage. Yeah. See, I said the same. Milos, remember they said he was better conditioned last year at the Arnold. Yeah, you, you said. The, Do you agree with that? I mean, look, uh, I, I thought it was very comparable, but uh, you know, could be a little bit better last year. Yeah. yeah. Dennis, to me, to me, he flashes greatness like four weeks out. You're yeah. like, oh shit. Here we come. Mm -hmm. And then as we get towards the show closely, it, it could be a little bit of nerves. It could be a little something, but it's not like I've seen strikes in this guy's quads before. I'm like, man, he needs to bring that shit to the stage and not to the Instagram. You know, yeah. stuff like that. I think it would be. I see him close up at the Olympia. The and I, will I will never forget what he looked like backstage. I looked at him close in a, in a, in a, in the spotlights that they have backstage and he looked fucking crazy. The skin looked thin. When I was sitting in the first row and look on stage, it didn't even look close to what it looked like, real close backstage. So that's why I, I still believe that, I don't know, I don't know. I think we all sound like, we all sound like a broken record. At the end of the day, listen, Samson is, is the, one of the best bodybuilders in the world. That's an achievement. Major achievement. He's mm. right there. He knows what he needs to do. Yeah. I don't know if he... I mean, listen, just because now I, I, we get all this information that his wife is peeking him, so that, make, that makes me believe that maybe he wasn't listening to Milos every time and everything Milos suggested. 
could possibly be. Maybe he listened to his wife certain things, and maybe that's but, why things don't work out 100%, but you don't listen to, to just a, one to person. A, but to a certain extent, you're listening to both. I mean, you got to... But, but that doesn't work. You can't listen to... No, but to. Saying, I think that's what transpired. What did I just say? Exactly what yeah. you... Exactly. It's going to be a certain percentage of Milo's, yeah. going to be a certain percentage of uh, the wife. Yeah. I, I would have just... Like, Samson, if you see this on Sunday after the show, hopefully you win the Arnold UK. If you see this, just come out. Let, let the world know really what was going on so we all, you know, not, not so much, not so much me, but the fans stop speculating and, you know, what's going on. So I, I don't want to make this all about Samson because we got a guest here from Kuwait. Mr. Yes, Abdullah, what's your last name? How do you pronounce your last name? Atoli? Al Otebi. Al Otebi. Al Otebi. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. I see, I see, Dennis, I see Chris eats one, 100 pieces of shrimp. It's <laughs> actually good. It's such a, it's, I can see. I can, is like I, a blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> it was good, man. Yeah, it's very good. What's that place called? A seafood house? What's it called? Yeah, uh, so, uh, uh, seafood house or I don't know. Uh, something. Yeah, like I that. think like uh, right now it's called Chris, right now it's called Chris's seafood house. <laughs> no, oh, or, or, and the lobster, the or, lob, the or, lobster. Or no more shrimp house because Chris and the real lobster man. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, what's new in Kuwait? Because, listen, for you, for years, Kuwait was the most talked about um, gym when it comes to bodybuilding, and it's getting quiet. Yeah, yeah. It's getting really quiet about Kuwait. What's going on? What changed? What's going on? What's happening? Any new guys coming up? You, you, you know, Dennis, maybe you heard some, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm two years out, two years, uh, I'm out uh, of team because uh, I, like, I like working alone, you know? You know, too much going on there. You know, you know, Dennis. I bring, I bring, I bring best athlete there. I bring Rolly, I bring Brandon, I bring uh, Regan Grams, I bring uh, everyone. You know, I have, I have good connection with the uh, same like Milos. People like him, the athlete. He, he like me uh, because always nearby uh, all athletes. You know, and uh, two years it doesn't say. I didn't see some like before people talking about uh, oh Kuwait people there you know still you have now only Brandon after Brandon everything done <laughs> oh really so are you stopping you stopping yeah I'm two years I'm stopped you know I don't have any relationship with with uh, anyone there he's a good so, friend to me he's uh, but are you are you trying to stop coaching completely or are you just no 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 I I, I don't need to be with team you know always the team he make me like a pressure you know and uh, I have. Uh, more than uh, a bodybuilder business, I, I be alone. I don't need too much people. I don't need be oh your boss or your your uh, prince or your I don't know. You know, uh. I like be me Abdullah. I have one 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 guy is a manager. His God, you know. I don't, I don't need people make me oh I'm prince or you know you know me. Dennis. So you like so you like me. You like to be your own boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get that. I get that. It's, it's the best because you. If you but, like, but honestly, this those guy, you know, the the, the owner from gym, he start uh, help me from zero to here. You know, I, I don't forget and, him. And it's listen, nice. and listen, he did this for a lot of people. I mean, we can't. I know. We can't. We can't knock. Uh, uh, and, and I can say his name, Bada. I mean, he did a lot for the sport of bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He helped a lot of people. You know, and and, and Dennis, and, Dennis, and also. When I start with better, I stay with better for a long time, 22 years. He make me like, oh, I can make, uh, I can be a rich guy, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you, when you, I don't see better, I'm not there. But uh, I believe God give me better. I'm better help me. I'm, I'm good with him. And uh, also my my son named Butter because I love Butter. Mm -hmm. I don't forget him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, this is what it is, you know. Yeah. Hey, uh, I mean, I was in a low place. I, I'd say low, low place in my coaching career because it wasn't it wasn't going the way I wanted it to when I was in Gold Gym Venice, and I remember going to to the Arnold Classic and I met I met uh, Butter for the first time, and he gave me a chance to come to Kuwait. I said, Hey, I want to go and do a, a camp, Camp Cormier over there. He said, Okay, well, you know, come to dinner with us, and then we'll we'll sort it out. So I, I always gonna appreciate that for him that. Uh, you know, by me resurrecting, you know, my career uh, in the sport, 
going to Kuwait, that's, that was a great time for me. And, uh, and I helped a lot of guys. I just felt, I felt, uh, I felt Abdullah that I, I helped a lot of guys out there also. I know you were doing your thing, but I had a lot to do with the day to day operations and the posing and the training and all that stuff. Yes. And, uh, I guess, uh, and I go ahead. I just want to, I don't, I, yeah, I, 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 I also, I don't forget Dennis James. He make this sense in Middle East. You know, honestly, if you I like, you like Dennis, yeah, I know. Dennis, sure. Dennis, he make improving from all the Arab, all the Federation, all improving from bodybuilder in the Middle East. That's so what, 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 what was Dennis's role? Like, I know I, he, I, why don't you ask me? I'm right here. I can tell well, you. Yeah, no. I mean, what <laughs> to him? Yeah, let, let me I say this. Your part. Oh, 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 you I say myself it. because uh, Dennis would never be modest. Because, I'm not modest. Listen, here's the thing. Yeah. I can tell you he exactly. He the knowledge. Yeah. When, the I, knowledge when I first went to Kuwait, I'll tell you exactly how this happened because I've been to other Arabic countries before. I've been in in, in the UAE. I was guest post in the UAE. I did an appearance in, in, in Bahrain and I had bad experiences in Bahrain, for example. I had a very bad experience and I was invited by a royal uh, family. I mean, they brought me over, you know, a guest post. Everything was fine while I was there. And, you know, I'd left and then uh, they contacted me and offered me to do a camp for their national team in Thailand. I was still living in Thailand. So I said, you know what? They said, yeah, it's very possible. So she said, okay, we want them to come over for three months. So they asked me to look for a com accommodation for them to stay. I did everything. I put deposits down and then I didn't hear nothing. And then they canceled. Oh, we postponed, not canceled, postponed, postponed. So now there's six, three to six months that passed that I couldn't go anywhere because I put everything on hold because I wanted to accommodate them. And then, you know, my deposits are gone. And then I get a, a, a message saying, oh, listen, I'm so-and-so-and-so. -and -so, my word is good as gold. We'll pay you anyways. You know, I'm still waiting for this money now for 20 years to this day. So they sent me basically a, an email or a letter or whatever it was. I don't remember exactly where they wanted me to sign a paper that said that I received this money. And now so I sort of signed it and sent it back so they can get it. I said, I'm not signing this because he signed this. It means you got it. So I never signed it. I never got my money. Anyway, so that was the bad experience I had. And then Bada contacted me out of the blue one time. I didn't know who Bada was because Bada, nobody knew who Bada was. I remember. He said, yeah, I own a gym. I said, everybody, every, every Arab I met in Thailand owns a gym. Everybody's a gym owner. So he sends me an email and I treated him sh like shit because I had no respect. I sent him back, send me some money, then we can talk. Literally like that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> I'm serious. I said, send me some money and then we can talk. And he, and he, he, he pre prepaid me. I went over to Kuwait. Now, listen, he just opened the first in, uh, in uh, what is it, Adelia? Over there by the... Adelia, Adelia. Adelia the first Adelia. one. Adelia. And nobody had, no, listen, nobody had any idea about bodybuilding. Be honest. Yes. No clue. They knew what bodybuilding was, Dennis, but they were, Dennis, I want Dennis, I want I, I have secret for you. Secret. Secret. <laughs> yeah, because you know, yeah. you know, Dennis. I, I listen. I talk with you before, then I talk with you again. I know better, better love you too much. Hmm. But you know, sometimes too much heater going on. The ego, better, the, the ego goes in the way sometimes. I get, ego. I get it. I get it. But better, but, but honestly, better not there. But I told you something. Better she told me. I told him, why do you bring Dennis? Why don't bring Ronnie Coleman? He said, no. No. This guy, he make me. Go ahead. I told him, why don't bring Jay Kettler or Ronnie Coleman? Why bring Dennis? Dennis is not Mr. Olympia. He told me, best guy in my eyes, he make the oxygen improving, Dennis James. Okay. Yeah. So, this yeah, yeah. Better, I mean, better talk. Yeah, yeah better talk. Listen, better, better, I know better love you too much. But, yeah. you know, sometimes up and down. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm not here to trash Bada. I'm not trashing him. I'm just keeping it real. You know, I, I remember when Bada didn't know anything about bodybuilding. He didn't know, you know. So we introduced him to everything. I brought all the athletes over. That was just, that was a deal that I had with him. He said, hey, listen, can you get him? Can you get him? I can't get them all. And you know how about yeah. it is, you know, but please, know. but Dennis, please, please, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, you know, it's cheap as possible, you know, because he was on his way up. 
But I got to say yes. this, and Bada, he is a businessman. After, we cannot forget, at the end of the day, for him, it's all about business. It doesn't matter. He helps people, but he needs to benefit from this. I mean, that's just yes. how business works. It's yeah, oxy- this business. It's oxygen, yes. Jim. We need to get oxygen, Jim, out. I introduced Bada to Jim Mannion. I mean, yeah. if it wasn't for me, he wouldn't know Jim Mannion either. You know what I'm saying? All yeah. this had to start somewhere. At the end of the day, I don't regret anything. I had a really, really, really good friendship with Bada. I like a real brother friendship. Like we did shit together. Like I don't even want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But yes. Uh, unfortunately, it you know it went uh, you know we 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 split. At the end of the day, he's doing a great job. The sport of bodybuilding in the Middle East is where it needs to be now. It's probably the most. Com- competitive uh, uh, scene in the world when it comes to amateurs, you know, and this in Umbada has a lot to do with this. So, but it's not. And you bring uh, you bring Olympia amateur and Middle East also. Yeah, here we go. But he's now Dennis, but he's now better better is now your biggest biggest gym in the world. Your best gym in the world, you know. Which the one? Machine, which which one? Which side? one? Saudi. You have now. Yeah, no, no, you have in Kuwait, the bigger gym, bigger than anyone. And I think his name in, in Mangaf, oh, for him, his crazy gym. Yeah. It's very crazy. Yeah. I remember when he started. I remember what his, what, what his vision was. He told me exactly what he, what he wants to do. And he did it. Yeah, so yeah. at the end of the day, he's uh, more power to him. Because uh, to run a business like this is not easy. Milos, Milos, we cut, we cut, we, yeah. we cut Milos off. I was trying off. to say that because uh, I do remember I followed that. I think it was 2005 when you went there first time. Yes. Yeah. 2005, so, exactly. Really, uh, Middle East bodybuilding expanded after you went there and you shared the knowledge. And then I don't even know. I mean, Abdullah, if you met uh, Dennis, if you heard some of his teachings and Abdullah, the, the Abdullah, hit. listen, Abdullah was sitting with me in the damn, in the coffee shop. He was still yeah. doing judo. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Abdullah, Abdullah was just still doing judo. I don't even want to. Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't, I'm, I'm best guy in Kuwait with Dennis. Always with Dennis. Dennis yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't forget Dennis. What you do for me? Yeah. I don't forget. I don't forget you. you, know, you, you I don't you, forget you dropping the fries in the back of my car that I loaned you guys to drive. I get my car back. There was fries <laughs> under the seat, hamburger wrappers. I mean, that was terrible. <laughs> Dennis, and also I remember, I remember Milos when you. Prepare uh, the Hong Kong uh, Federation. I no, 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 no. Hong Kong. You talk Malaysia. about uh, Malaysia. Malaysia, Malaysia. Yeah. yeah. I, I, saw, I saw Milos. I saw Milos big, big chest and the in the Qatar 2006. Yes. In yeah. the Olympic Asia. I'm playing judo there. I feel <laughs> what this guy. I just he was there. Like dry. Yeah. But that's uh, Abdullah. That's when I I was there for a Malaysian team for Asian Games. And uh, Bader and Dennis flew to to uh, see me stay there a couple of days. Yeah, the, the, we we talk about this story. I don't want to repeat it again. Uh, but yeah, that's how I met uh, uh, Bader. <laughs> yeah, I saw you there. With athletic, I saw I saw you there in athletic village. You have like a big athletic village, and I see Milos with the short guy people. Yeah, what this guy? I hey, saw him you know, before. What? you know the <laughs> the best thing about the the Asian Games they called it right the Asian Games. Yeah. The best thing was when we left prejudging. The finals were at night. We left prejudging. Milos and I we were in the same car. I don't know was it a taxi or whatever it was, and then there was a radio station in English that was playing. And all of a sudden, they announced the winners from that show. Before. Literally, after prejudging, before we went back for the finals, they already announced the winners on, on radio. But hold on. Let, let me tell you about the other story that you probably forgot. We went for dinner with the bother in some restaurant. Where, where he told you about that he's not going to win. No, 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 no. That's when the restaurant got in fi- on fire. And uh, we... Oh! Had- Love it. Yeah, Remember yeah, that one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a panic mode. Listen, I know this. He didn't pay the bill. I know the situation. I know. <laughs> there, there, there was a moment like, okay, you know, you know, something stinks, right? And, and we are still eating. And and you know how that is? Is a panic mode. Yeah. He goes, he says, I'm out. Get run, run. out of here. You and then it, it was a full blown fire. I mean, everything was burnt to hell. I don't know. If somebody died, Chris, you but know, listen, Chris, that was a panic Chris, mode. Chris, you know, we don't fuck with water or fire. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> out of there right now. 
No ocean, yeah. no fire. That's crazy. Yeah, no, no. The other thing, I, I wasn't going to touch that subject, but the, as you said, uh, the way, Abdullah, the way I, I uh, met uh, Bader, he introduced himself and then he said, Milos, you see that sheik over there? It's my friend. He paid 75000 oh. for his guy to win. <laughs> that, you were going to say that. that is, uh, anyway, uh, later on, I met that cheek. And, uh, you know, yeah. Things happen. Yeah. Things happen. So, so who's... So anyway, anyway, okay. I, I was going to say before, uh, what, what year was that? Because we were training, you know, with Brandon. What, what year was that when he really came out? And and made a statement like he is. What year was that, Abdullah? Me, I, I prepared Victor Martinez, 2016 or 15. Then I meet Brandon. Yeah, I be, I meet Brandon backstage. He get I think uh, fifth or fourth. I told him, Brandon, please, I want to work with you. If you work with me, we'll be top five Olympia. And I prepare with with with, with uh, uh, Brandon. I beat Dallas McCarbon and I beat Cedric. I get two in show, then I go Olympia. He bring Brandon top five or top four. Then he give it to Brandon eight. I don't know what happened there because I'm a new. Then me lose, meet Brandon 2017 when he beat Cedric. And Brandon called me, oh, I meet, uh, I meet, uh, Milos told me you can be Mr. Olympia. I said, yeah, of course, of course. Then he make me like uh, I'm warrior more than before. Brandon, you know me, I'm fighter guy. I'm fighter guy. I know, I know Rolly and uh, Brandon. Rolly and uh, Rami have biggest muscle than Brandon. I know Brandon uh, legs small. I know is uh, you know, but his his high stack bodybuilding hundred burst. Then I bought something in my mind. I told Brandon, you want to win Olympia? You want to go Arnold? Win, win, win Arnold, then go Olympia. He can win. And Brandon, believe me, you know. Then Brandon go Arnold, win, then go Olympia, win together. Thank God from this one. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hmm. You know, you know, I'm, I'm I have I have now six years. I'm I'm top top six in Olympia. Uh, one year I remember I have uh, four guys top ten. I have Bonak top six, Brandon top two, I have Akim top ten. I have Jester Rodriguez eight. I have four guy uh, get uh, top ten. What what did uh, what did you think about uh, his look at the Arnold and did everything go as planned with Rodriguez? Uh, Rodriguez, you know, he coming with me. You know, you know, Rodriguez, he go with George. I don't know, George, what, what do you do with Rodriguez? And uh, he sent me a picture. I told him, what do you do with George? I don't know. I don't need to make uh, drama. But he coming with me for four weeks or five weeks. I told him he can be something. I do my, with him best. But, you know, Rodriguez, he, he need, he need, I think he need uh, more balance from up and down. You know, upper body good. But his abs issue you have, I think. And you need more legs, you know. But I think he's, he's, he's old. I think he's 40-something, you know. Oh, really? He's over 40? Yeah, I think he's 41, 42, I think. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It's getting, it gets harder. Once it gets to 40 and yeah. over, it gets harder. Yeah, yeah. And I saw him the video. He, he doesn't control stomach, you know. Yeah. Stomach is like a biggest, you know. But, you know, a lot of guys, you know, you tell, if you say, hey, do this or do that, it's still... I mean, a lot of people like to blame people who train people or, I mean, who coach people, but it's still up to them to fucking train as hard as fuck and cardio hard, hard, hard. And I know I, a lot of guys fucking uh, cardio hard. I think, that's gonna, I think the biggest issue is the cardio, that most people don't do the cardio, the amount of cardio they, hard they need to do. Some people, they just praise themselves by saying, oh, I only do 30 minutes. Yeah, well... Yeah, not enough. Maybe you should do four times thirty minutes. <laughs> there, there is, there is. I do, I do, I do cardio every day, one hundred minutes, one yeah. time, one hundred minutes. <clears throat> See, I mean, but it's not at the I end. Mean, of, at the end of the day, look, how do you supposedly do three hours a day? And Think, he doesn't. Yeah. Hey, you know, pretty much when you look at him, if you, you know, would have told me back then. You need to do three hours? I would do three hours. It do. That's enough. Right. I wouldn't even fucking, I wouldn't ask no questions. I was doing two hours to begin with. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. sometimes right after the show, I get back on the trip and I do two and a half, two and a half, three hours at one time. Boom. Well, I would do three sessions if I had a cheat meal. If I had a donut, I'm doing three sessions. <laughs> 
But that's a guilt. That's a guilty damn cardio. No. <laughs> <laughs> like in the morning after my workout. How much, my, Minos, how much cardio does, does Samson do? An hour. He does yeah. an hour a day? Yeah. Yeah, maybe he should do two <laughs> hours. Yeah, you know, this is kind of things. And uh, Chris, lately, every time when we mention you, you got offended like that we are speaking down. No, no, uh, I, I want to say this. Who got defended? I get defended. Uh, you, you, you are trying to be <laughs> defensive. No, Minos, I said, if, I, if, if somebody act like I didn't work hard, no, no, we, we, we love you. We love you. And I think that uh, uh, you are I'm a good example about... now of, of this when we talk. You were phenomenal, right? But here it is. You little bitch. Imagine if you did like two more hours of cardio, right? No, seriously. <laughs> think about it. I, I wasn't going to hard work, brother. You know what I mean? You uh, achieved the level of muscularity and density and hardness and everything else. But we know. And that was... Good enough. And you were saying I can beat these fools even being 80%, right? But talking about Lee, I was talking about Lee Priest. Yeah, I'm just saying <laughs> if you really dig deeper and like Cardi did a three hours of cardio, Jay Carter did three hours and stuff like that, right? If you actually ever went like to see how lean I can really get. You know, you didn't need to. Chris was you eating. Didn't need to. Chris was eating so, shrimp. That's how many guys are, right? Chris was eating shrimp for three hours. No, you know what? You know what? What I didn't like about going straight fish and vegetables, I would get small. I would get small for my. Yeah, but, I wasn't like a. Yeah, but I wasn't Chris, a actually big guy. But Chris, I had a big frame. How do you get small, bro? By eating protein, the same amount of protein. It doesn't matter if it's fish, chicken, or steak. How do you get small? I just felt like I, my body get fucking... Chris, angry. that's in your mind. You know that. What would you tell a guy that... Let's say you work with someone. You tell him, listen, we need to get in better shape. Let's go to all fish. And he's going to tell you, oh, no, if I eat fish, I get small. You would tell him, man, shut the fuck up. Let's say, if I eat fish, I eat fish. 300 grams of protein is 300 grams of protein. I don't care where it's from. <laughs> You're not getting smaller. That, that's, that's just up here. You know? You think? Yes. Yes. Oh, Milos. Oh. Milos, am I wrong? I no, you're so. right. I mean, protein is protein. That's what, doesn't matter where it comes from. Okay. Animal source protein, which is complete protein, right? Yeah. yeah. The thing is that uh, in everything else, there is more hidden fat and more calories, therefore. So, you know, maybe you reduce the... Uh, the total amount of calories. But in that case, I would bump up the protein. As I talk about it, and I have this in journals, I was doing 500, 550 grams of protein every single day. Uh, you know? Abdullah. Uh, no, we yeah. eat them. That's only 2,000 calories right there. Yeah. But let's okay. change the subject. Who mm -hmm. is the best bodybuilder today? Out of the whole roster, who is the best bodybuilder? Amson Dawuda. Okay. Yeah. Now, can Hadi beat Derek the way he looked at the Arnold? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you don't think so? No. You don't think uh, Hardy can beat mm -hmm. Derek? No. Okay, well, then we disagree right there. And yeah. so that means the only one that can beat Derek would be Samson. Yes. This is the three way. Listen, Dennis, Dennis last, year, last year I bought Samson uh, top two. I bought him in my mind. I'm, I'm there. He's better than uh, Hardy, honestly. Yeah. I don't I have, have any baby, problem. Baby. I don't have any. Problem maybe with, you need, with Hadi. You need ten more years of experience, then you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, you had Samson. You had Samson beating Hadi last year. Yeah, I saw him big by by shape, by symmetry. Yeah, yeah. By okay. Posing. Milo saw him winning when he go by shape. That's we get that. We already agree that Samson has the most beautiful flow shape. Hashtag bodybuilding. This is Milo's uh, hashtag. We'll never take that away from him, but. There's also a level of conditioning that you have to bring in order to win. So how come? So you didn't have Samson beat a Derek last year. I mean, yeah, at the Olympia. No, no you know, you, you know. Then, listen, uh, Derek, you have, you have, you have best back double. He make him too far two people. Okay, from, one, from three. That's one pause. Go ahead. Back last bread. He he beat everyone. Okay, I'll give you that. That's two pauses. Front double, he beat everyone. That's three. Tight chest, he beat That's everyone. That's it. That's it. That is, I'll give you that one too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, I, whatever he says, I got, I got, I, I can't agree, but I got to give it Adam to him. Died. So, you, so you think, so you think that Derek wins 
almost all poses. Hey, okay. So you, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you some interesting thing. Okay, no. <laughs> in 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 a, in a UFC, right? About yeah, there's a ten point uh, mass system. So ten nine, it can be ten eight or ten seven. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the, in bodybuilding, there are poses. Okay, you can go ten nine. Yeah. If it's ten point mass system, I'll give it to this guy. But then there's like the back double biceps from Derek. <laughs> That's ten eight. Okay, you know maybe even. You know, if you don't have a back, I think it's a matter of opinion, though, because everybody has a different, but, uh, different. But most muscular of of uh, Hadi and uh, and uh, uh, Derek, that was ten eight also in in the favor of Hadi. Uh, ab shot, you know, shit. Yeah, most you know, most like, people will not understand what you mean with ten eight. Now it's it's just a matter. No, no, no. I think it's a matter of opinion. Some people like. And most muscular, the way he hits it, somebody likes the way he hits it. So we, we can all agree to disagree sometimes, you know, not everybody you know, feels the same. I think Hardy um, was better from the front than Derek, and I think Derek was better from the back. Simple as that. That's the way I saw it. Uh, okay, okay. Dennis, submit your round. Submit your round. Who's better? Yeah, Derek. Yeah, Derek, Derek. has better. Derek has better flow. But I'm not talking about the Hardy from last year. I'm talking about the Hardy from now. That we no, saw. No, I'm last year. Last, okay. Last year. I, my question, my question was the Hardy from the Arnold now. Can Derek beat that? I think the light is different. No, no, be a light let, let, let's let's different. take let's take the light out. Let's put him in a in a in a in, a, in outside and in, in, in the fucking football field, and the Hardy from now to Derek. The way Derek, I I'm, give it to I give it I give it to uh, I give it to Derek because he's close. I know he's close, but Derek he make good uh, uh, good future from bodybuilder. He's speaking English. He's a family man. Okay, show people what you do. <laughs> okay, Hardy is a family man and he doesn't speak English. But, but that, what you do? I don't understand what you, what you say. I, even 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 <laughs> even even we don't need the try no to English. What well. I'm what I'm trying to say is that. The Hardy, Hardy lost. Hardy lost the Olympia last year because he lost it from the back. Correct? Can we all agree? Yes. So yeah. even the Tyler said side poses went to uh, Derek too, which uh, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, it's it, it, yes. it up and down. Okay, so now the Hardy from now. This so you think you say in the Hardy that that won the Arnold. Would have still be second at the Olympia last year. That version of Hardy wouldn't have beat Derek, even though Derek in the front is not there yet. I don't know about the Derek this year. This might be a total new Derek again. So I'm not saying the Derek from this year. You, 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 you know, Dennis, if you put yeah. two two guy, two guys, same stage, same light, I told you who's win. But in my mind, I give it to Derek because I like. Uh, good shape. I, I like people who have uh, like symmetry, small waist, vacuum, back, dry, grains and, and the glutes, arms, every, everything has best, you know. But I love Hadi. Maybe beat him, yes. Maybe I'm wrong, yes. But I love Derek more because I'm, I see him face that, to face. That's what I'm saying with opinion. You, it depends on what physique you like better. I, I, listen, it, I said, huh? Go ahead. I said that the Hadi from the Arnold. Would have be Mr. Olympia if he would have showed up just the same way at the Olympia last year. Now, Derek is smart. He didn't do the Arnold because he knows what he has to do, especially up in the front. He needs to get better. The yes. legs need to fill out a little bit more. So now we can see a, a 20% improved Derek. Yes. And then he's going to walk away with the title again because if he can match the front to the back, then we're talking something. And also, Dennis, and also Listen. he's younger. He's younger. Then, I know. I, that's what. That, that's why I'm saying because he still, he still, the maturity is still coming for Derek. Dennis, when I what I saw of Derek from the last Olympia, lights out from the back. Mm. He was hard as nails from the waist down in the quads mm -hmm. when he first came out. As the show went on. The front started to slide a little bit, and the quad started to slide a little bit. Mm -hmm. the, the back stayed the same, hard for me. Yeah, that's why I started to see a little slide. So if he can keep the hardness throughout the show, you know, finish that strong and show an improved chest, uh, 
and abs, then I think he can obtain it. But if if he if he if it slides again like that, or the legs uh, don't, I think he knows what quads, to do. I think the, in, quads, the quads were huge and striated when I saw at the, at at Jim Mannion's show, and it, I don't know when it goes to the stage, it looks like it slides down a little bit. Your weakest it, your weakest body parts is always the first one that's going to flatten out. He always was flat from the front, even. Even in his two twelve years, and he was crazy yeah, from the back. I know. I know. So if he can fill this out and work on that, he's gonna be, yeah. Like let's let let's say this. Let's say, let's put this next to each other. Uh, Derek, who looks as great from the front as from the back, next to a Samson who's peeled, who wins? Samson all day. Thompson all day long. Okay. <laughs> Is he going to get that hard in the back? Huh? That hard in the back? I don't know if that's possible. I don't think Samson needs to be that hard. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think, listen, this is going to be a run after the uh, Arnold Classic. I, I think that Samson is super motivated now in two weeks to make a difference. And, you know. What, this is this can, weekend? This weekend, yeah. Yeah, you, you, can, you can suffer and, and create. I mean. King Kamali would go, oh, look, you need 2% more. And, <laughs> you know, he needs more than 2%, right? <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, any visible difference would be noted, right? And uh, it, it's uh, Rafael Brandao is not there. Okay, he's going to still be John De La Rosa and James and, uh, and Akeem. Do you, see, much. you see John? You see John's yeah, legs update? Peeled. Peeled, yeah. Yeah, peeled. Uh, absolutely. Uh, but listen, yeah. We talk about this. Akeem Williams going to be dangerous, I think. Yeah. It's I think so. Samson's physique. Yeah, Akeem would be good. I'm not biased coach. It's just like, wow. <laughs> but here's the okay. thing. Here's the thing with Samson. Now, all this shit in the news and what happened, this could help him or not. So it could go it can go great or it can go worse. So it's a what, physique. What about that James? That, James is a whole other subject we didn't really talk about. I was just going to get to that. Yeah, because you know, because at the end of the day, Milos, if you would, if you would still advise Samson, what he's, what should he do until the Arnold UK? Well, I, I gave him basically instructions because we didn't talk. I just sent the, the, the text uh, that yeah, he is going to need to suffer no matter what. You know, more cardio, <laughs> less carbs, and bring you more condition. Because now, after Tyler Mannion publicly said it was not close, Samson heard it was not close. And in each pose, as much as his physique can handle it, conditioning was not comparable. And he needs to bring that level of conditioning. And Abdullah, you were not there. I'm just going to tell you this. I'm sure you've seen uh, uh, Hadi many times in person. But this Hadi in person... The, the condition doesn't translate in the video footage and the pictures. I, I've seen somebody sending me, oh, like you're saying this and that. Look at Hardy, you know, whatever, uh, last year's Olympia now. Look, it's almost same condition. No, it, it, it was, I mean, you were there, Chris, right? And and Dennis was just watching on the, on the stream. I was there. And he the was kind not. of conditioning that's really skinless. I, I mean, uh, I did this once back in the day, 98, uh, uh, after the Olympia, I wanted to touch Ronnie Coleman's hamstring because I really, really I tried to pinch the skin, and there's no way you don't. Re the you skin. don't remember where you did that? I remember because I was right there with you. Yeah, that wasn't. No, it was 98. 98. no yeah. it wasn't 98. It was at the two. That was the first time I did it. Okay, I did it the second. Times. The second time. You did. <laughs> the second time you yeah, did it. Is, the is. Hold on, I, one, one second. Listen, everybody knows. The second I time. I checked the stomach, lower yeah. back, everything. But no, you hey, did nice it. To see you. <laughs> Milos, the second time you did it was at the 2001 Arnold Classic backstage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, Abdullah. Yeah. Dennis, Dennis, I have a question for you. Yes. You ready? Yeah. How is the best show now in the planet? What is the best show? In the planet. Like what? The pro show or what show? Pro show. Best show in the planet from IVV Pro League. I don't even know how to answer that. 
You have to yeah. be politically correct. Uh, no, I, 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 can't, I can't tell you because I'm not a competitor, so I'm not an athlete, so I don't get the... Uh, I told you. Hold on. I told you. Tell me. I told you. Best show ever now on the Prestige, Arnold Classic. That's it. Yeah. Arnold Classic because is oh, it's a great show. I, but now, listen, now I don't... Be, listen, Dennis, his, his best prestige now from everyone, Arnold Classic. Number one, the price is going up. Number two, uh, uh, the guy, uh, Brian Bauer, he make crazy job, crazy job. I go Olympia there, I saw the open class, no prestige, no prestige. He stay backstage six, seven hours, he gets flat, soft as us, you know? <laughs> no prestige from, from open class. You know, the yeah. open class is big prestige. But you know what, Chris, and you you know that, Emilio's you too. We as competitors, we've been saying this since I've been the first time at the Arnold, that this just catered more for the athlete. It's just, it's just it was just, you know, everything was picked up. You got picked up from the hotel. There was buses to the venue. There was time. Everything was on time. That, I got to give it to him, yes. But I, you know, I'm... How can I explain this? I'm I'm doing the broadcast for the honor. I'm looking at the screen like I'm sitting at home. I don't see what's going yeah. on behind the scene, but I know the Arnold caters the athletes for sure. But the Olympia, yeah, the Olympia, Arnold. I think the Olympia has to step up now. It's time for them to step up, especially now yeah, after Olympia. Arnold. After Listen, Arnold, there is how we need how how, how we need Olympia has, has, has wake up now, and 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 the the lighting is not changed. Lighting in the stage, yeah. stage is, is not. That like Arnold, you know. I think I think the the Brian Bauer he make sense with Arnold. He make like Arnold his best show ever. Mm -hmm. He make Arnold like o Olympic Games, not Olympic company Olympic Games. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. He take be careful from 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 athlete. He give him prestige. He give coaching prestige. He give everyone prestige. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He's doing a good job. Yeah. Brian is doing. I've been working with Brian for four yeah, years. He's, he's doing he's doing a good job. But listen, I don't want to trash anybody. I think that the Olympia is going to step up. They have to. This is Arnold basically just started started something that they can't back down. They have to. If you want the if you want the Olympia to be the most if you want the Olympia to be the most prestigious show, you got to step up now. It's now it's the time, because if not, Arnold's not stopping. But I think the only one that's going to benefit from all this is going to be the athletes, because the prize money is going to go up. Where we thought it should be already ten, that, ten years is ago. That, is that the the measure of prize money, or you think is the, the actual production? The prize money for start I, I, for the athletes is is the prize money, number one. And also, Dennis, the the pro show from from USA or from Europe, you need get get prize good like UFC. Look now, Dubai pro show you have one hundred k, you know, yeah, and no tax. But it's different. And look. Yeah, there's no taxes. Yeah, I know. There's no taxes for you, <laughs> but for the Americans, there's taxes. So I know, I know. But you, 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 you know, Dennis. You know, I want. I wish. I wish we'll love see bodybuilder like UFC. We'll love, you know. Yeah, but you know, you have to understand one thing, and and, and this, especially the shows in Europe, it's, it's a lot of money. If you don't have the sponsors, how can you put this money? Nobody's going to come and take his life savings and put it as a, as a prize money. You got to have the sponsorships. You got to make some money in order to put that money out. That's why. Yes. That's that's why I said Bada is doing that's a great job. That's why. And and, ba and, and, and and you know what Bada is going to achieve with this? That this is going to be the third biggest show in the world because the prize money is up. Uh, 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 well, I saw I saw some people when when. First show, he gets 5K. 5K. No, no, what, what no, you, no, no, no. The minimum prize money is 10,000 for the for the any show. No, no, from Man's Physique. Man's Physique. Man's oh, physique. I don't know about that. Classic. When? When? The minimum, you know. Everywhere, you know. I saw. Yeah, but you know what the minimum prize money is for Classic? Total, 3,500. 2,000, 1,500, top three. Yeah, it was it was 5,000 the first year the owner, the, for the Classic. No, that's what he did. But. Yes. And, yeah, in, the, what, yeah. in the smaller shows, like the shows, you know, I put on two pro yeah. shows this year, and the minimum prize money is thirty five hundred. So, and if you don't have money, you put, you do the minimum prize money because at the end of the day, at the end of the it's day, awesome. at the end, <laughs> yes, not only that, but the end of the day, you put the show on because a pro show costs money. You have to pay a sanction fee. It's going to cost you. You don't really make money off a pro show. At the end of the day, you offer an opportunity for the pros to qualify for the Olympia. That's what they come there for. 
No classic physique guy is going to a show because he needs those $2,000. That's not going to help him with anything, but maybe the, the hotel bill. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're going for the quali. They want to qualify for the Olympia. Is, is uh, Abdullah said, uh, saying which is the best show on the planet? And he pointed out that uh, Arnold, Olympia is qualification, uh, Arnold is invitation. And now with this prize money, uh, I bet you it's going to be top 10 Olympians. All yes. Invited. I said that Im yeah. immediately after Arnold announced it, I said, listen, this is going to be, they're going to have to literally have 30, 40 athletes to choose from for next year. Who can possibly pass a yes. percentage of half a million dollars? And I mean, it, yeah. Yeah. who? Yeah. How can you justify it? I mean, even I was wondering, Hadi Chopin is always in shape. Uh, he did only Olympia 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, you know, why didn't he do the Honor Classic too? You know, I'm sure that now after the rest of his life, he's going to be doing the Honor Classic. But everybody... You cannot be top ten at Olympia and not uh, accept invitation. Well, actually, let's play. let's find out what the other placings get an increase in. Because we know that it's two hundred thousand dollars more for first price. We don't know what's second, third, fourth, or fifth. But I know that he is doing the uh, the numbers right now, and he's increasing the, everybody. In the and everything. Everybody's going to get increased, so for sure. Yeah. That's just, it, it, they're just calculating and doing all this, the numbers. And because listen, the Arnold was a huge success this year. It was literally huge. The expo, you saw it, it was packed. It was back to pre COVID and even better. And, uh, and Arnold fucking loved it. He loved it. And he already said in the athletes' meeting, though, that he's going to increase the price money because nobody knew how much, you know? And I liked when he said that I feel no longer, uh, what he said, um, uh, 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 obligated to follow the rules, because <laughs> you know, because you know, because you know, he had a, a deal with Joe Weider that he, awesome. he had a no a deal awesome. with Joe Weider that he never upped the price money more than the the Olympia. That was a deal he had with Joe, and I guess now he doesn't care no more. So we'll see, we'll see. So is Brandon going to do the Arnold next year? Yes, of course. Uh, listen, I'm talking about Brandon. Brandon, if you see this is an interview, Brandon, please, please go to gym training. Please. <laughs> don't do like Kevin Lebroni. Kevin Lebroni, back in the day, he can stop all year competition eight weeks, no problem. Yeah. But I told Brandon three weeks ago, Brandon, if you don't now bring good training, good gear, good meal from Olympia, <laughs> come to it. <laughs> so, so, so when is he, when is he coming to Kuwait before the Olympia? I don't know. But listen, I, I prepared him in Arnold 2022, eight weeks. He coming like me, like mm. me, <laughs> no. like me, <laughs> no. like me. I promise. Like <laughs> me. I have picture. I send you after interview. <laughs> the brother, well, what happened, brother? Okay. What do you do? He is fun. See, see the interview. Me and Brandon. I told him he coming. Eight weeks like me, you know, and I want him. I want him coming back like warrior. He I have chance. Listen, last year he can be like top two, but you know, I'm worried when Brandon coming early, go early in, in USA because always I stay with with him like uh, like my 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 baby. You know, always I give him everything. I stay with him. So so how I, so how do you, how do you motivate Brandon when you say that the only one that can beat Derek is Samson? How do you motivate Brandon? I'm an honest guy, you know. I'm an honest I, guy. I understand. I'm, I'm like, I understand. But how do you motivate yeah, him yeah. now? But I, I told I told Brandon, if you if you want to put your mind again like a warrior, and put your mind like fighter again, you need training now. Put feed you, make uh, motivation, make everything. People don't see everything. I don't know what you. It's what, quiet. What you do there. It's really quiet. Yeah. No, I want to make this is your business, you know. I love Brandon, Brandy. Listen, you have great wife, great family, beautiful uh, house, beautiful people there. But I want him. This is if you. This is my job. I eat all the, the gym every day. I go gym every single hour. I'm the gym because this is my 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 my, my job. Mm. You know why I give it people like a, a no physique, no anything beat me. You know. Yeah. You have you have you have best best shape with Samson and uh, Andrew Jack. He can beat everyone. But last year, you know, I beat him to top two, honestly. But when you Brandon go hospital, I, I say, oh, God, what can, what, what, what can you do with this? I saw him, then he get uh, 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 a hospital, like a 
24 hours, no eat. I saw him like like this. Same like when you t- take Lasix. What, what do you do? So brother, <laughs> don't be worried. Don't don't be worried. Don't 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 competition, please. I'm I'm fine. Don't you need to take rest, make healthy. Then he go meet uh, Jim Mania or, or Taylor or Steve. He told him go. Uh, 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 he can he can compete. I sweat. She, why how can compete? He drink everything and he put him drip like yeah, yeah. <laughs> no no beans no anything. What do you do? You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Abdullah. And, and yeah, even, yeah, but even he can. This would be the same even thing. He can stop water. Abdullah, it would be the same thing if people would say now, oh, a brand is in the hospital. It's Abdullah's fault. So that's why. How could it be? Yes. Yeah, same bullshit. But listen, let's talk about something real quick. There's also comments going around that all three competitors that Milos worked with at the Arnold all left Milos. Milos, what is there any truth to that? Really? 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 That's the no. news that's going around. Listen, Mar- Marcelo and I are very, very good. They're very... Yeah, Mar- Marcelo's is good, right? So, of course, yeah. <coughs> yeah, no, no, no. I mean, absolutely. Uh, he needed more time, and uh, uh, we are willing to put that time in and make him a great contender. He's a passionate bodybuilder. He is just uh, also a businessman. He has uh, all kinds of stuff going on in uh, in uh, Brazil. And yeah, uh, by all means, it's not true. The James, on the other hand, uh, yeah, uh, I think we made a great improvements. And then he just basically start refeeding himself without me uh, acknowledging and, and recommending. And then when when he sends me the up, uh, update and he said yeah, he uh, he had a refeed, I said, well, it was not planned. Why did you do that? I mean, he knows his body, and when he drops kilo, kilo and a half overnight, then he he does that. So after that happens second, third time, I, I just ask him basically. I, I mean, do you need my help, uh, or are you just going to do it yourself? And that was a uh, few weeks before the show that uh, you know ba- basically, you know, he decided to do it himself. Oh, so he told you that though? Yeah, he, yeah. I mean, we had a very good relationship. Uh-huh. I, I think he was super pleased with the improvements. Uh, I think that was the best. Uh, you see James in a long, long time when, uh, like, pictures eight weeks out, seven, six, you know, five, there's all there. Hmm. I, I just hope he brings that kind of, the best possible look. Uh, I still think that maybe he's too concerned about losing that kilo and a half and he needs to refeed. I think he's uh, best when he's at rock hard and dry, uh, which some of those, uh, if you go back on my Instagram or his, you probably see that uh, super bone dry look when he's fasted in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's his best bet. I do remember that the UK Arnold, uh, which I criticize exactly James on the, on some of the podcasts, like he didn't bring the condition. I didn't see it on a live stream. I really didn't. But then when I say see so 4K and uh, manager Matt and Jake Allen told me, no, 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 he was... You know, in great condition, say, hold on a second, like, wow. So I think that uh, uh, great lights at the Arnold UK would benefit him if he if he comes that bone dry. Like, you think that the John De La Rosa is going to be, of course, uh, uh, Hadi, if he if he got the visa, we don't know. Uh, I don't know, Dennis, if you heard anything about Monday. I think I, think I saw, I don't know, I hear some people say no visa. Who? Hadi. I'm just getting messages. Don't worry. <laughs> he got it? Huh? He, he got the visa? Uh, can I read? Yeah, please. Give me, give me just three seconds. Read loudly. <laughs> no, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. They're like you sleeping. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just leave it right there. He's going to compete. Oh, okay. So he's, so, he's, comp- he's going to compete. Reading, reading between the lines, he still didn't get it, but believe he no, will. No, 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 no. Uh, What's the prize money? What's the prize money? Uh, uh, I can see it on your face. Otherwise, he <laughs> would say yes. Hey, this is going to be, you know. He's going to compete. Hey, what does okay. what does that say when I say he's going to compete on Saturday in England? Is the prize money the same? Where? No, one fifty. No, no, it's less. It's, yeah, it's, it's half. Yeah. One fifty. It's huge. Are you uh, doing the, the, the comment commentary? No, I'm going to be commentary from home, watching it live stream. Yeah, uh, with Milos together. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe we should we should all do a, 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 a Zoom live stream and watch it together. Saturday, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's let's predict real quick for Saturday. Abdullah, you're the guest. I'm gonna start with you. What's your prediction for this weekend? I think uh, if you had the compete, Hadi, Samson, Akim, John Darosa, top four. Very good. Milos? I still have a faith that Samson can bring it, uh, you know. So I do think that he can pull pull the upset. How much can he change in, the, in, 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 the, in these two weeks? You think? You can. Okay. You know, you really yeah, yeah. Can. I'm, I'm just. That's yeah. what. That's what I'm asking. How it, much can he change? It's hard to bet against uh, Hardy, but my heart is still with the uh, hashtag bodybuilding. And Samson just need to do this now. He knows. You know. Listen, uh, judges and uh, and uh, the whole thing kind of approve this. Maybe he doesn't need to go that far. Uh. Now he knows he needs to go that far. So maybe he will. And Hardy, uh, according to your. Facial expression might show up there on Friday. No. <laughs> okay. No. All right. But either way, listen, it's super hard to bet against Hadi. I love Hadi, and I think he he was phenomenal. I still believe that uh, Samson brings better better condition, and he gets rewarded, and it's very good for the Olympia hype up. You know, if it's one one, so uh, it's between Samson and Hadi. I'm gonna still go with Samson. Third place, I'm gonna go with. Uh, uh, Akeem uh, over John De La Rosa, even though John John is going to br bring his all-time best. But Akeem beat him at the finals, right? Because of more density and thickness and everything. Uh, James and Antoine are still in the picture. You know, so I haven't seen any updates from uh, uh, Antoine. I would just like to see James that bone dry rock hard like he could be. I wish I had at least chance to work with him on the posing. I still think that he can open up more in uh, some frontal shots, but we didn't even do that. So, uh, okay, prediction, Samson, Hadi, uh, Akeem, John, and James. Okay. Chris, make it quick. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Quickly, Chris, quickly. I, I want oh, to eat. <laughs> he have to eat. He's going no, to He want to go break his fast. Come on, hurry up. Please, quickly, please. <laughs> I got it. So, hey, does this... Hardy, hey, Samson. Hardy, Samson. Hardy, Samson. Uh, shit. I didn't see the updates. I don't care. I don't care, but just go by what you feel. I'm going to go with Akeem, John, James. So, same thing as... Uh, Milo said, basically. Okay, I'm going with Hardy because I believe that Hardy going to be even better than he was last, last week. I'm going with Samson in second. I'm going with uh, John, John and, and Akeem, depending if the Akeem that showed up on Saturday shows up on, on, on there, then Akeem is... And if, listen... I'm a little worried about, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little worried about Samson, and I'm going to tell you why, because I think all this drama is going to hurt him, might hurt him just a little bit, and he's going to be worse, but worse, not as good as he was in, 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 in Columbus. That's a possibility that I believe. And then he's going to get challenged, he could get challenged by Akeem, if Akeem nails it. But if not, I think it's Hardy, Samson, John De La Rosa, Akeem, and then James. There you got it. I would have went. I would have. No, you would have. No, you didn't. I would have had the Brazilians in there, man. What? I, what Brazilian? Who? Marcelo? Rafael. Rafael is missing out here, big time. I know. I, I would have liked to see him but, here. Yeah, Rafael is going for that uh, Brazilian uh, uh, Arnold and. John De La Rosa is going there, too. I, you, know, you know what? Let's play this scenario here for a second. Because, and like, you guys, I'm just speculating. Don't think, I don't have any information about this. But since he made that video that he was sick and he's failing, he got to go to the hospital, and the next day he made a video saying, I'm good, I'm in the show. Could that be because maybe he thought that Hardy didn't get a visa or he's not getting a visa? No. Nah. 
I don't, I don't, I don't. Listen, Dennis, still, still, from now, I don't believe Hadi can beat an Arnold UK. Okay. I believe it. I feel in my, in my heart. I feel. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, you know, like, like, huh? Yeah. Oh, Abdullah maybe knows more. No, he but, doesn't. No, he doesn't. You read that. You read that, and you I'm speculate. I'm telling now. you, he doesn't. You're, Hold you're, on. You're smiling and. Uh, okay, I can fire at will. He's got his visa, so done. Let's hope nobody gets sick from now until Saturday. <laughs> this show is going to air on Sunday anyway, so, you know. Yeah, exactly. Nobody's going to see it. That's why show. when I, I was not, I was not supposed to say it, but then I said my show won't air till Sunday, then said fire at will. So he's got his visa. <laughs> his visa is approved. So he's, okay, he's going to get there either, hey. either tomorrow or Thursday. Yeah, this is Tuesday night already. That's, in, half, uh, that's nothing for Hardy. He did worse. I know, but uh, you remember the only time it's different. But time, it's but it's Hardy was not in shape. But Milos, no, no, no. The first time he was not in shape that Friday night, Saturday he killed. Friday night, yeah. I know. So, but he came. It's a one day show. But it's different if you don't know if you get it. He already is approved. He already knows he's getting it. It's just a matter for him if he wants to fly in tomorrow or Thursday. So he's he's relaxed. I'm sure. I hope so. Yeah. Hey, uh, Abdullah, did you uh, attend 2017 Sharul Classic in Dubai when yes. uh, when uh, Rolly was Hadi, third, Hadi was second? Hadi beat Rolly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But but hey, I, and I mentioned this. Uh, he competed as a light heavyweight, 198 day before. I know. I know. Okay. And this one, I'm going to tell you, Dennis. Uh, it's it's like 2000. I don't know. How you scroll down to like ten thousand? I know. Posts. I I remember. Yeah. I remember the show exactly. I want to find that picture. And one hundred ninety-eight pound, uh, Hadi looked just as big as uh, I Rolly. Know, you just you just proven my point. And yeah, and Rolly was probably 50, 60 pounds heavier. Yeah, exactly. And it's the same with with Samson now. Same thing. He creates Not, an illusion uh, because he's so separate. Uh, look, look. He's so separated. I, that's why I'm saying if if Samson comes in and the 275, 280, 285, I guarantee you he would have so much deep detail that he would look even bigger. Yeah. And and also you have, you have beautiful abs. If, Dennis, Dennis. If he controls Dennis, him, yes. If, if you have a body that's full blown, that's not gonna, that's not going to equal someone that got the deep cuts with the full-blown fibers outside the cuts. So that should tell you when when you're trying to be two, whatever, 260, whatever, and you'll look way bigger if you were like 12, 14 pounds lighter. Yeah. It's the same, same damn thing. That's, yeah, yeah. that's what you got to realize. And listen, Abdullah, let me hear your last name one more time because I'm going to do the intro after. Al Otebi. Al Otebi. I don't want to fuck this up. That's why. Otebi. Abdullah Otebi. Al Otebi. Abdullah al Atebi. Abdullah, how yes. old are you? 140 years old. I'm, uh, He's a vampire. I'm, 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 He's what, 20? I'm 39. 39. 39. I, call, I guessed it. I said 39. Yeah, look. He looked like a teenager. Look at him. Yeah, exactly. 39. <laughs> because I do too much, too much cardio. Too much cardio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my, hey, but what about, what about those cats before we go? What about those other cats that were coming up in hey. Kuwait? There was another... Black dude that, that was there. The guy from England or from Denmark. From Denmark. Somewhere. I don't know where he was from, but... Oh, 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 oh. Patrick, Patrick. Yes, Patrick. What's it? Where is he? Where is he? What's oh, it? Bro. Dennis, Dennis, this guy, he have crazy genetic. Yeah. He go with me, one show, and he go Olympia. Then after Olympia, he have a problem in head. Too much problem. Oh, really? I think he do surgery, but this guy... Hey. This hey. guy, he listen everything. When he told him, when he told him, eat... The iPhone he eats. Crazy yeah. guy, listen. Yeah, this, this is, I like hey, that. I love him. I, I made a comment about him. I, I would never say that somebody can be too dry. And I think he, he was too dry in one of those shows. Wasn't the last show in England? Uh, no, he, he go, uh, I think yeah. he gets, he, he went in France. He gets second with Andrew Jack. But his, his condition better than Andrew Jack. Yeah. Andrew is very soft. He beat him. Then I share with Milos that... The, the photo, Minister, he's very dry. I thought, how beat him? <laughs> it was, I mean, really freaky dry. Yeah. It's almost like, okay, can anybody be too dry? And like he was. Yeah. But hey, I was going to ask, uh, uh, because you do like 100 minutes of cardio, 
Uh, Abdullah, that's, uh, that's great. Uh, so uh, why 100? Why not 90 or 120? You know, I Dennis, I feel, because I need, I need because I'm, I'm I'm champion judo. I want to feel like back in the day, my stamina, like, no need this one, you know? I'm not yeah. smoke, no, 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 so, anything, you know? So you do cardio on the street or you go, uh, you do on a treadmill? No, I do no. Some, sometimes like step one step, 100 minutes. Hmm. I do a uh, treadmill 100 minutes. Sometimes I do bike. Yeah, okay. But the bike is I go outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Hey, uh, Chris, when was the last time you did cardio? Shit. Uh, I think uh, uh, when I was 45 in, uh, years ago. When he was in high school. <laughs> when, I home. when I was at home. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in uh, England now. When I was at home. Chris, Chris. I see you with your jokes. But Hey, we're going to have a leg workout, me and you, when on, I see you. But hold on, Chris. But you're not me even. And, me and you, Milos. Chris. Hey, yeah. I'm training with Jay have today. Have a leg workout. Yeah, guys, guys, Milo, uh, Milos, hold I'll on. Put your ass in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, in a wheelchair. I'll but put your ass how, in a wheelchair. How you about, too, Dennis. How about you, you take on down How too. about you? You hey, too. How about you take you your shirt too. off? Take your shirt off. You want to put me in a wheelchair? Take yours off. You want to put yeah. me in the wheel? I'll take mine off right now. Yeah, I'm putting wanted. you in a wheelchair. Let's go. Let's go right I'll now. Put you in a wheelchair. Oh, no. Come on, come on. Let's go, Chris. <laughs> you too, Milos. Come on, let's go. You too, Milos. Come on. It's not June. It's not June. <laughs> yeah. Get some, man. Chris is not. <laughs> Get some. Look, hey, hey, Abdullah. I'm gonna show you something now because he stood up. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he's a, he's a, I'll hey, show you something right this, now. And hey, listen, put this on a thumbnail. You know, yeah. not Chris's smiling face. Put that one, Nico. Put this one. <laughs> That's a great shirt. That's, yeah. That's, That's a, a great shirt. For Buddha bar. If I had great pants on, my dick would be fucking huge. <laughs> That's Chris, a great shirt. Hey, listen, Chris is not taking us serious. He doesn't take this challenge oh, serious. He's not taking the challenge you serious. Out, you he's not. Out your he's not. He's not dieting. He's not doing nothing to get better. You pick out your wheelchair. Yeah. But, but, uh, but Chris, you know, let's say time. Even, even though I didn't train Lex for a giant set. <laughs> Jay Hudley is coming today to train a little bit of me. You guys can train as much as you want. That's, that doesn't bother me. It's a giant set. I want to see you guys come out with the shirt off. <laughs> you said June. Come on. I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, for some, hey, for some reason, I still can't start dieting. I mean, I see all these uh, sweets and for some reason calling my name. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but you, uh, Milos, for you, I'm, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about Chris. Yeah. yeah uh, I'm yeah. worried about listen, me, man. Shit, I'm listen. worried about the high worry cholesterol. About, I'm worried about high blood just, pressure. I worry about everything. Huh? See, if I have a <laughs> sack of potatoes <laughs> around my waist, <laughs> and it's, uh, I, I would starve. <laughs> Abdullah, go, 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 go ahead and eat, brother. Go ahead and eat, man. We appreciate Bro, you. Thank, thank you. you so much I'll text you. Milos, Milos, don't get mad. Chris, go eat now, shrimp. I'll, 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 I'll text you, brother. Just log out, and we'll see you. Good to see you Take bro. care, my man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not done with Chris yet. <laughs> How do I do this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, want, I want Chris to take it serious. I'm going to find some photos of you, Dennis. Well, yeah, for, that's, that's, that's Den. Find something. You used, to, huh? you used to compete with that look, so what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm here now. <laughs> 50, 58 years old, bro. I can, wear, I can wear a T-shirt. I don't have to do long sleeves. I don't have to do that. I can wear T-shirts. Your hey. stomach is leaner now than when you used to compete. There you go. So see what you can do. <laughs> see what you can do with AIDS, Chris. <laughs> I'll fit. And I, <laughs> I can send you, hey, I can send you a couple of pictures if you don't have them. Yeah. You know? I, I, take it I, just take it serious. At least diet once a week. I'm going to. You said this every fucking week. You say I'm going to. When? I'm gonna be there. Just keep the one okay. meal. I'm fit. Oh shit. What was that one guy? Wait, 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 Ooh. wait. The one guy. I'm gonna see. Wait. I gotta shout out this guy's name because he said he oh. watches the shit. Oh, uh, yeah, you said that there was a fan. Mario. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mario? Well, he texted to me. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know if he finds it. Did you say I didn't you... understand the message. Me not either. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Chris, what? See how you are? Where is it? I sent it on the I up my phone because I didn't want to sure. have an accident. Expo. Mario. Yeah, is he a member? Well, well, shout him out. Mario, shout out to you, brother. It was good meeting you at the expo. And as I 
as I said before, I was going to do it. And uh, thanks for watching us. And uh, next time you see Milos, I want you to give him a lot of shit about his legs. <laughs> All right? <laughs> hey. Okay. I'm from Ingo Club, but... Uh, Thank you, Marlo. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> Good seeing you. That, that, that stem cell treatment help big time. I mean, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to train legs. I'm not kidding. Because now the pain that I'm going to get, I believe is going to be in the muscle, not in the joint. Right. So you can't train legs if you have a joint, joint pain. I mean, it's not <laughs> the same. You just keep damaging and damaging. But uh, at 60 years old, you can't really build the legs. I don't, I don't think. But that feeling of that muscle burn, you know, maybe I'll do a little carb loading here you know, and, uh, and put something in. All right. For sure. I Guys, it. I appreciate you all. We'll see you all next all right. week. I don't even know who we got next week. But uh, I'm going to have to find <laughs> Abdullah's last name again because I, I don't want to fuck it up. What he said, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'm usually good with names, but I'm not good with it. Because I didn't say his name in over 10 years, so it's, <laughs> I have to relearn it. All right, <laughs> all right guys. Y'all be safe. God right. bless. Peace out. See you, see you next all time. All right.